At the moment, I am motor homeless. As an Air Force brat, we moved around a lot. I'm guessing that's why I've spent most of my life traveling. And when I learned to drive in my parents' high ace camper van, I think this fueled my passion for an adventurous life. As a younger man, I started off by roughing it in an old Series 2 Land Rover and an even older caravan. But over the years, I've converted and restored five vans, an old 1973 40-foot AEC race bus. One of my favourites was a 1962 Austin minivan, my beloved left-hand drive Mercedes Hymer. And most recently, I converted a 23-foot Hino bus complete with matching toy trailer. And did I mention, I'm also teaching myself to play the violin. I just wanted to share my thoughts on expanding the capacity of the River 2, as EcoFlow hasn't offered an expansion battery pack this time. And do we really need one? I have a load of these Ryobi One Plus 18 volt lithium batteries for my cordless drills and stuff. And on Amazon's I found these power adapter caps that fit on top of the Ryobi batteries and these Y leads to run them in series. The XT60 port on the back of the River 2 will take up two 50 volts. So two Ryobi 18 volt batteries in series gives us 36 volts. I have two of the 4 amp batteries wired up at 36 volts, gives us 144 watts, which is about 28% of the River 2 Max capacity. But before we start, let's make certain that both batteries are fully charged. When connecting batteries in series and draining them, if the batteries are at different charge levels, you can damage them quite badly. Else you'd be better off plugging them into the river one at a time. When I unpacked the River 2 Max, it came out of the box charged to 31%. So I figured this would be a great time to see if this works. Looking good so far. Charging at just over 200 watt. I don't know whether that's the River 2 Max that's restricting it, or whether it's the battery management system on the Ryobi batteries. But it's working fine, nothing's getting warm, it's charging nicely. And 37 minutes later, we're at 56%. So our calculation of 28% has turned into 25%. I'm happy with that. When I was looking for my power adapter caps, I did see them for other brands of battery. I know the Makita cordless power tools are very popular, so I'm certain you can find something to utilize the gear that you've already got. I also bought a 12 volt, 100 amp hour Epoch Marine lithium battery. I bought this one because it was IP67 rated, dust and waterproof, has a built in heater and a really nice Bluetooth app. And with this plugged into the back of the River 2, I should have somewhere in the range of 1700 watt hours. But I'll save that one for another video. If you like this video, could you give me a thumbs up? It really helps the channel to grow. You could also subscribe so you don't miss out on the next video. And if you got this far through the video, thank you for your support. Until next time.